Oh my god, my face is so big. Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. This is Kathy. Today we're gonna demonstrate scaling on Pig's Mandible. Before we start, let's introduce the instrument. These are all crazy curates. The number has its meaning. Number 1 to 6 are for anterior teeth and 7 to 18 are for the posterior teeth. To be specific, number 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6 are used to scale all tooth surfaces into anterior. Number 7 and 8, 9 and 10 are for buccal and lingual surfaces of the posterior teeth. Number 11 and 12, 15 and 16 are for mesial surfaces of the posterior teeth. As for 13 and 14, 17 and 18 are for the distal surfaces of the posterior teeth. The design of the Gracie Curate is that it only has one cutting edge, and it can adapt closely to the tooth surface. You can see there's a flat surface on this side, and not the other side. So that means this edge is the cutting edge. Our model here is a pig mandible. This is the overview of all the teeth. You can notice there's quite a lot of calculus on the tooth surface, especially on the posterior region. Let's start with the anterior teeth. For anterior, I use number 1 and 2. When adapting the Gracie Curate to the tooth surface, the cutting edge must first be identified and placed against the surface to be scaled. Note that the terminal shank should be parallel to the tooth surface. In this position, the ideal working angulation for calculus removal is achieved. For the posterior, I use number 7 and 8. It's important to have a finger rest when you're doing scaling. If not, with an accident push on your elbow or a slip of your finger, the blade might end up inserting to the gingiva of your patient. Here, you can see the calculus can be spatter out, so it is important to wear a full PPE when doing scaling. And if you don't have stable hands, or you encounter a huge calculus that you cannot remove in one stroke, you can use the other hand to hold on the blade to help you stabilize the curate. In that way, you will have a more powerful stroke. But be careful not to hurt the oral tissues. For the interproximal surface, I'm using curate number 11 and 12. Know that we have to turn the tip to adapt to the tooth surface, because we are following the tooth surface instead of the gum line. Following the gum line will pressure the gingiva and make the patient feel uncomfortable. Here, I accidentally paused the filming while I was cleaning this tooth. But here's the original look.
Finally, this is the output of my work.